What's going on guys? My name is Jordan and welcome to my flipping life. So today we're going to unbox the Cauldron Creep. I've had this prop for a little bit. I have not been able to get this thing unboxed and set up. So today we're going to unbox this thing and we're going to set it up and hopefully everything works because I bought it used and I haven't tried it. I haven't set it up and I haven't tried it out. No idea what's going to happen. Hopefully it works. If not, I'm going to be mad. But seller said everything works and I've had luck so far. No issues. I've already bought a prop from this guy. It works. No issues. We're going to get this thing going. See what the cauldron creep is all about. I've been wanting this prop for probably about three years now. I've been after this thing. It's just always looked cool and creepy and we've got witches and i've made like custom uh, cauldrons for the witch and the witch just wasn't what i wanted it to be and honestly the witches really aren't part of my thing anymore but i've got a couple of them i've been after this guy i think he looks awesome in all the videos i've seen he looks super cool so we're going to set him up and see what it's about so the box on this guy is pretty big I mean, it's, uh, it's not a small box by any means. It is big. And uh, from shipping, some holes are punctured in the side. And you can see some of these bars punctured the side. But that's what happens when you ship it in their actual box. But can't blame them. I'd probably ship the props the same way. But as you can see here, everything seems to be here. I have no clue. I'm going to... Uh, dig through this thing and start laying some out there's the chest plate um i think this piece goes to the cauldron uh, i'm gonna dig some of this out of here and see so what uh lay it all out on the floor and we'll get building all right so we got everything laid out here And it even has the directions, so that's a huge plus. I don't have to uh, Google or try and find a YouTube video. So everything seems to be here. The only thing that uh, this doesn't have is the fog tube. So I don't have that, but that's not a big deal. I can find that online. But everything else seems to be here. So, uh, it doesn't have a step pad either, but that's not a big deal. So, I'm going to uh, start assembling this thing. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, the one thing he did say, the one hand was broke. It's this one. Um, I think this is JB Weld. I don't know. I think that's JB Weld or something. It's like rock hard, but whatever he did didn't work. And it's got some on there. I'm just going to take it to work, grind that down, and uh, weld that together. Weld these two pieces together. It's not a big deal, it's an easy fix. And uh, I won't have a broken hand anymore. So, take that to work. Weld that up. Won't be an issue. Not a big deal. Let's uh, start assembling this thing. So, on the base here, it's uh, A to B. Alright, so we got those hooked up. A into B, and they hook on like that. Into the base. That's... It stays down to keep them sturdy. And then parts C hook in also up here. But I'm going to shut the camera off and hook these in and we'll jump back on. Okay, this is going to start going pretty quick here, I guess. Next is the pants, and they go on one leg at a time here, and then the top half with the speaker, 
then connects. So we're gonna do that real quick and then we'll jump on and show you what that looks like. All right, so we got the pants on and I wanna point this out because there is this bracket here in the back of the pants there's a V cut in them that's to go over top so the pants are directional it's just so you can get that down over so that's what it looks like so far we're gonna put that top piece on with the speaker into these two poles right here and then we'll put his pants on and we'll keep building all right now that we got that on there there's one more piece here the hip hoop which looks like this you're gonna put it up over that and hopefully i can do this one-handed like that now that's where his pants are gonna go and we can pull his pants up so we'll do that and then we're gonna move on to the torso all right so here we are we got this all done up so when you're getting in here this is your chest plate mount the back torso like his back and then this one is the head which moves up and down so we're looking for part g which is the chest plate and this guy is gonna go right here i might have to do this off camera oh nope okay so the chest plate mounts there so looking like that so this would be the front this is the front where the arms come down so next is part h and this is going to mount in these two holes right here we're gonna shut this off and we're going to install this piece and then the head okay we have the back on and the front I said the front one mounts down here through those two holes and this one just mounts in here into these and then your head's going to mount right here and then your wire connects into the head there so let's get the head out and install that this guy i love how this head looks head looks sweet and i guess the jaw moves but it broke apparently so he just opted to uh hot glue it rather than just put some screws in it because all it does is just like uses gravity to like move up and down so i guess i could uh drill some holes and just put some bolts and washers in there and do it but i love the the texture on this thing the the head is, i love this face so okay just like the chest plate it's gonna go down through these two holes just like that these two wires here connect so i'm gonna connect these and we're gonna move on to the next step next step is the costume the directions say to put the costume on first and the head we're gonna see if we can just uh do that without so we're gonna put this costume on him and see how this goes okay so here we are it would be easier to uh take the head back off so it'd be easier to put the costume on and then the head uh, but it's doable just putting the head on and working your way through it but uh if you want a little bit less headache go ahead and just you know put the costume on first uh, it should cover all this up. We'll see. Once we get going here, got to put the arms in yet. That's the uh, next step. So we'll see how this goes. But I wanted to show you what he looks like so far here. 
He's looking pretty sweet. Let's uh, move on to the next step. So we're gonna stick the arm that's labeled K, which is this one, up the sleeve. And then in here, and his arm's gonna be way up here because he's gotta hold that staff here. So we're gonna put that in. Okay, so we got that arm in. It is kind of a pain to get it up through the costume there, but we got that in. Now he's reaching out. And the next arm is L, which is, mine's broke, so he's not gonna have a hand at the moment unless I just tape it up for a mock-up, which I'm probably gonna do. So we're gonna put this in there, we're gonna tape it up and just uh, see how it goes. Okay, so we got that hand taped up in there. I'm not real sure how well that's gonna work out, but uh, it's in there. It's holding for right now. I just got it taped up on the end there quite a bit. So just to do a demo, I guess we'll do that and then we'll take it apart, take it to work. Uh, the next step is putting this cauldron together and I gotta put all those pieces in there so it like dishes out the cauldron so we're gonna do that okay so we have these little guys and they go there's little things here and then there's also little ones on the top of the cauldron so this holds it all up so when it's all done it'll be you know standing up so we're gonna put all these in and then we will show you what it looks like all right so there we go we got this all. You can imagine this is the front with all the creepy cloth on it. So next we're gonna see what else we gotta do because that's all done. And all of them just fan outwards. All your wires in there. Next is this piece. Uh, I need to hot glue that wa that light back on. Right there. But anyway, that goes down in here and goes into these holes. Just like that. And then those wires there connect. All right, so now, we got our wires here and I got to fish these out of his pant legs here but there's two posts that stick out on the back of this cauldron one here and one here and they go in the front this guy like that good enough and this down here is just like real chintzy plastic so we're gonna slide those in and we're gonna hook these wires up so there we go, we got that all in place and we got all the wires running out of the pant leg. Now we have to assemble staff or the stirrer, it goes through his hand and then it's gonna mount on there. All right, so here he is. Uh, hopefully his hand holds on here. Uh, I think the staff, honestly, they could have done better. Like, it's just, plastic tubing but it just sits down on top of that motor and it's just a reindeer motor so we're gonna get the power adapter and fire him up for today's purposes I'm not running it through his pant legs you just run it through his pant leg and run it down to the outlet so we're going to turn him on see what he does <laughs> Anything can happen this night. 
<laughs> Alright, so I'm going to shut the lights off and see what he looks like in the complete dark. So this is where I was talking, his jaw is supposed to just move up and down as the head moves. The jaw is supposed to just free flow. So if you just drill a hole in a bolt washer, it would still work. So I don't know why they hot glued it. You could just drill a hole in this and put a, a nut in a um, washer, bolt nut and washers on this thing and it would just let this jaw kind of free flow so it kind of looks goofy like that so i'll probably free that up and let it uh move up and down on its own as this head moves and then i'm gonna weld this arm up and uh you should be good to go pretty excited you know hot glue that light back on there but all in all i am pretty happy with this guy i've uh wanted this dude for a really long time now i finally own him and I own this giant headless horseman back here. I own the cauldron creeper. I'm pretty excited. This year's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this guy's going to look awesome out front. But I'm uh, excited this guy works. I mean, the audio is great. Uh, nothing's like hardcore broke. Everything's easily fixable. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. So we're going to fix that hand. We're going to fix his jaw and fix that light and everything should be good yeah i'm glad i bought him he's definitely cool i i enjoy this i enjoy this prop this is really cool looking uh, just the textured in the hands i mean the hands are got some gross texture to them his whole head has got some grossness to it in the chest plate it's just really really cool uh i just wish that like spirit and morris and stuff would would quit with the weird cheesecloth and these chintzy costumes like really honestly you can make 90 percent of this stuff if you got some old masks laying around get some hands like you could buy a hand and drill a hole through it to make this and a reindeer motor that's in there and the reindeer motor that's in there in his chest to move his head up and down that's literally the only two things in this so if you just wired those two together and uh, got a 12 volt adapter you could make this thing and not spend all this money and you'd have to make your frames out of wood and pvc but jesus you could probably build this for way cheaper than you know you could buy this for and i guess as far as a cauldron i think i i made my cauldron up here it's uh behind this flag but there's a fire with lights in it that i spray foamed and uh used a laundry basket and hot glued and spray foamed skulls all around it and it looks way cooler than this one and then i could put lights in that if i put a reindeer motor in the bottom of it i could have a cooler cauldron than this one like mine looks way better than this for what it is and what all it comes with i, I enjoy it this is a pretty cool looking prop it's going to look awesome out front. I've been wanting this for like three years now. Finally got it, and I'm glad I bought it. So He's super cool. He is super cool. So if you're looking for the cauldron creep, get him. If you can find him, buy him. 
is definitely cool. His audio is really loud. His eyes light up bright white. And all this lights up green. And then the fire obviously lights up orange. His movement is pretty good. Uh, like I said, I just fixed that jaw and it'll be fine. If you see it, buy it. I enjoy it. This is definitely going to be an awesome addition to everything I've got this year and everything I've already got and uh, everything I'm going to buy this year. So I'm pretty excited with this. So if you like this dude, go out and buy him. He is pretty larger than life. He looks pretty cool. It's all hunched over. But if you're in the market for the cauldron creep, I'd say go get him. He is pretty cool. But like I said, you could make this. You'd probably have let way like you'd have way less in it than you would buying it for sure. Your motors are like twenty something a piece if you wanted to do that, and then your adapters, so you'd probably be like fifty, sixty bucks in motors with adapters and stuff. And then obviously if you got masks and stuff laying around, because all this is just cheap fabric, so you could go to a Goodwill and get some better looking pants, honestly, and uh you could get any costume. Jesus, like Cut the chest plate out of it and it'll look just like this. Use an old mask and some hands. And you can go to Spirit and get a skull. I mean, you can easily make this. Easy. And my cauldron, I think, had 11, pretty sure $11 in that. And it's got string lights in it and the fire's got string lights in it. And it's all foam. So it's super cheap. It was quick to make. And it looks better than this. This guy is really cool looking i do enjoy the uh like the texture of all of the the gross texturedness to all this but i'm gonna fix this up and he's gonna be out front this year for halloween and uh stay tuned there's gonna be more unboxing videos more prop builds more demos and just more videos of setup come fall we're gonna get moving because release dates are going to start dropping and all kinds of goodies are coming home depot already dropped the 12 foot skeleton i did pick one of those up so there's going to be that for my haunt this year so stay tuned there's a lot coming i appreciate you guys remember to like share subscribe leave us comments down below what you think of this dude and we'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching